Hey guys, so here I have on the table three cords. Uh, in front is the 15 amp AC input cord that comes with the AC300. And then I have two of their 30 amp generator AC input cords. Now this uh, 30 amp has an L14 plug on here, um, which is pretty typical on most 240 volt uh, generators as an option for output. Uh, I think that's why they probably put that on here, but you obviously notice there's four prongs on here, and yet there are only three pins here, which actually matches your 15 amp as well too. So we can pretty much safely assume that one of these pins, or prongs, sorry, is um, not used on this adapter. The other thing about this too is you'll notice, or some of you probably already picked it out, is this is just a universal kind of, I hate to say, cheap uh, uh, replacement plug that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's, which is great for me because means I can change this plug to what I want and I have intent to do so. Uh, and I'll show that later in a different video on why I'm doing that. However, what I want to know is on this generator plug, I'm sorry, generator 30 amp AC input cord, are the pins identical to the pins on the 15 amp and i assume that they are but obviously i'd like to confirm that they are set up as i expect and how i plan to do this is using my voltmeter for toning and i apologize in advance because it's a little hard to do the camera and everything else at the same time so i'm going to set this to tone and as you can see here, it says it's an open line, and it's basically saying that it's because these two leads have no connectivity. And then obviously, as soon as I touch them, okay, I have connectivity, and that's what that sound is. So I can use this, obviously, to figure out which plug is to what pin on here. And each pin on here is actually labeled one, two, and three, which kind of helps for me to identify what's what, which is great. So what we're going to do here is go over, and I apologize again because it's a little hard to do camera on this same time. I'm going to put one of my leads into one of these plugs. Okay. Now, typically on a plug, and I'll use this to point, ground, typically your left side is your neutral and your right side is your hot. Usually your neutral plug is a little bit bigger than your hot side. And this just made noise simply because I still touch these two. Um, so on this cord here, the hot and neutral are exactly the same size, which kind of tells me they don't care uh, which is which. Uh, um, but typically in a North America uh, wiring, uh, once again, left is neutral, right is your, your hot. So now that I have this plugged in, I'm sorry, connected to what I expect to be my hot, I'm going to come down here to my other end and I kind of expect this to be pin one, and let's find out. And as you can see, I'm making noise right now, making tone. So that is the connectivity between those two. And just if I go to two, nothing happens. Three, nothing happens. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna move this over to the other plug, which I expect to be my neutral. Oh, excuse me, expect to be neutral. And we'll go back into pin one real quick. Nothing. Pin two, okay, we've got tone. So we now know two on the 50 amp cord is your neutral. And then just to make my life easier, we're gonna put that guy in there, which is pin three. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna touch the ground. And obviously that is what pin three is, it's ground. So now we know what our 15 amp is. So let's go look at our 30 amp. So like I said before, this is just a cheap universal replacement plug i've already loosened this okay so we're gonna pull this back so once again four plugs on this side yet you'll notice one of those is not being used okay so what we have here and i'm going to use my pointer here we have ground which is yellow it is green striped on the other side so that that's co correct color coding we have an y an x and a W, and some of you have just already figured out another issue. Now, it's really not necessarily an issue, and I'll explain why here in a second. It's not what we'd like to normally see. But usually your Y and your X are your hots. And usually for color coding for cables, a black 
and a red are considered your hots. Your whites are considered neutrals. So if we look here, our white is going into an X, which means that, is this a neutral? Well, no, it's not. They just wire this awkwardly for some weird reason. I think it more has to do with this side of the plug than it does with this side. So they have, once again, their black going into W, which is their neutral, and they're having their hot, which is a white, go into an X. And once again, an X and a Y can be either one of your, your hots here. So I can move this, uh, this cord down here from X and bring it to Y, and it would still work. Okay, so now let's just go make sure that each one of these goes to the exact same pin as we expect. So what I'm going to do now is trim this around and show you this side. So hopefully you guys can see this. There is one of these guys right here uh, that is a little bit L-shaped. That is typically, no, that's not, not typically, that is your ground. So I would expect that if I touch this with one side of my lead, that on this side, on pin three, it should be my ground. So let's go find out. So we're going to put this guy in here. Okay, so that is on my one with the L shape. And then I'm going to go here, and hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so that bottom one is pin three. And we've got tone. So we now know our ground is the same thing. Now, once again, I'm going to ignore their color-coded cables because they're per standard wrong. We know that from the back of the cable, this was Y. The bottom one down here was X. And then this one was W. So if I come up to here and we know this one was not connected, let's confirm that we get no tone on any of these plugs. So we'll go back to one, nothing, two, nothing, three, nothing. So obviously that's not connected. So next I'm going to take this and I'm going to go down to the bottom here, which was my X. And that one was connected and that one's connected to the white cable. Okay. So now if that's connected to a Y or an X on this plug, that should act as my hot. So I expect from the 15 amp cable that pin one is my hot. And it is, okay? So that means this guy over here, which was my W using my black cable, just to make everything more confusing, um, should be my neutral, which should be pin two. And it is, okay? Just to show you guys, nothing else is happening. So I think the wiring on this side may be an Asia Pacific type of wiring uh, that makes the connection from the pin one come out as a white cable and pin two come out as a black cable. Um, and therefore that's why they wire it the way they do here. So. If you open this up and you see that the black is going into a neutral and the white is going into a, a hot, um, don't freak out. Uh, th this is correct for the connections on this side. So the reason why I'm checking the tone on all this is, is actually my intent to change this uh, to a three prong 30 amp TT30 uh, plug. Uh, and I'll show that in another video because I actually have a Y adapter that's going to split my phases from a 240 volt into these two cables, this one and this one. And this one's going to feed one of my AC 300s. And then this one is going to feed my other AC 300. So I just wanted to quickly show the cables and then I'll do another video and show you the other part after.